Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So, I'm just gonna continue Wario Land to, uh, try and get through the other alternate paths. Which I think there's just three. I'm not sure I'll get through all of them today, but we'll do our best. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video, but yeah. There's an alternate path in this stage, so I can't leave this stage until I find the secret. No, wait, no, no. No, opposite. I found the alternate path, which is doing the normal path. I remember. It's okay. So this is gonna be straightforward. I can just go straight to the end. Um... Because I've done everything in this stage, it's... There's nothing to be done. I was trying to jump over it. Okay. I was gonna let it bite me, but then that works. This is just the the exit room. Yeah, so we didn't fight this. <laughs> okay. There's no death in this game, so I'm not dead. Oh, wow, you actually get digested. I was wondering what was about to happen. It's fine. I wanted to see the comedic death. Jeez. Oh, no. Damn it. Its head moved too quickly. Yes, what it was an egg. Yes. This is what I was trying to do. Chain stun. Okay. Now we're on the alternate path. I mean, standard path. But alternate in the context of, like, what I want. Hey, where's the treasure? That happened in the other path as well. Wait, what? <laughs> Why is Wario chasing after the chicken instead? Return the hen to her nest. There's probably an explanation as to why he's fetching the hen. There has to be. 
that has to be one important hen. If he's giving up his treasure to go make sure the hen gets back. That is one important hen. But that's not the same hen. We're just gonna run into wild roosters now. I really don't like these things. the time being. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, it's fine. I thought there may have been one of those walls that you can only break with an enemy. These things attack you. Going this level. It might have been the bottom left, but oh, there's the hand. What? Excuse me. Am, am I saying things or does? Is it just me or does the sprite of the hen look weird? <laughs> I don't want to say it, but like... We can't just pause it. It almost looks like it looks like the hen has a. Yeah, it almost looks like the hen has boobs. That's what that's what I I didn't want to say it, so people didn't think I was a weirdo. But okay, someone else said it. Thank you. Cause I was like, do my eyes deceive me or does this chicken have tits? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, there's a clip for ya. I guess that explains why Wario decided to go back for the chicken. The hen. What a weird stage. What? Okay. I 
I'm glad someone else saw it. I really don't remember that. <laughs> that, that chicken being like that. Okay. I needed that middle one because it could be an eight as well. I was not, I was not, uh, prepared for that. I should be, uh, checking for more secrets. Yeah, I think it's fine. I want to know what the plot thread of that was, honestly. Like, so... They're taking Warrior's treasure. They walk past that chicken coop. And then the chicken with a pair of boobs flies off and Warrior's like, Oh no, fuck that. Treasure, what treasure? Got to get the chicken. And then chases this chicken. Like, it must be a very valuable chicken. Like, to give up that much treasure, I don't know. Maybe it lays golden eggs or something. Some dev has a chicken fetish so decided to put it in the game. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I don't know anything about fairies or like... that sort of stuff, but... I mean... Is there a tier list of sorts for that sort of thing? You know what? Don't answer that. I don't- I don't want to know. But I guess I, I'm trying to think, like, why a chicken? Aside from, like, yes, very specific fetish. This is, a. Uh, Slightly stun locked me, not gonna lie. I should make one, it would be great content. Make one what? Can't get it. I wonder how you get in here. The tier list? Oh, I'm no expert in the field. I wouldn't know where to start. I think I'd have to gouge my eyes out probably afterwards. I mean, look, if you're in that world and you're yourself, more power to you. But it's not me. <laughs> I, I would have very little to contribute to that conversation.
that's what makes content. No, I guess me reacting to it, sure, but like, at a certain point, I feel like we're gonna violate a TOS. Like, that's quite the risk. I don't wanna violate Twitch's gasm policy. As uh, stupid as that sounds, that is a real thing. How do I get in there? It's kind of angled in a weird way that you can't get in there. Maybe there's something else I can get to let me get in there. But as it stands right now, no idea how to get in there. You know things are messed up when a company has a gasm policy. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's not called that, but it's, that's what people are referring it to. It's anything that, I guess, is sexually suggest suggestive. It's like, you, they've cracked down on emotes that, like, have thick booties, for example, even if they're cartoon characters and, you know, it's no one would ever really think of it as that sexual, right? Or things that, I guess, kind of, whilst innocuous looking, they might hint at, like, something sexualized, which, I mean, come on. Not to get into a whole thing about it, but, like, the emote policing is kind of annoying. I've seen some perfectly innocent ones kind of just gotten removed because it's just violates the sexualized content policy. Oh no, think of the children. We can't let kids experience sexualized content on Twitch, particularly in the form of cartoon characters. Listen, if kids wants to find if kids want to find that stuff, they're not gonna look for an emoji that's like 24 pixels by 24 pixels in size. Like I'm sorry. If they truly want to experience that content, there's a plethora of other places they can get something that's of a higher image resolution, I don't know. If that's an actual thing, how are there any emotes? People sexualize anything? I mean... I think it's kind of calmed down now, but last year, a lot of streamers I watched had their emotes removed. Because some of them were sexually suggestive. Others got removed for, like, other dumb reasons, like... What was the other one? Like, they didn't want emojis to be, like, a single letter. So people that had L as an emoji kind of got punished for that. There was also, uh, like, any emojis that resembled Twitch's own ones. Some streamers had, like, peach emojis removed. Because that's sexually suggestive. And yeah, no, it's a rule, like, you, you can't have emotes that try to replicate Twitch's own ones. Because, you know, Twitch doesn't use other people's, um, content. They have completely original emotes and certainly don't take 
bases from, say, The Binding of Isaac. Or, like, the faces of, uh, popular internet personalities. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's dumb, but that's just what it is, it's just... Let's not deal with the bots. Let's just make sure that people aren't putting pictures that could be interpreted as booties. Also, make sure that streamers are like playing 50% more ads at least. How do I get in there? I have no idea how to get in here. Unless there's another way, but like... Huh. Alright, I mean, as long as that's not the minigame, it doesn't matter. But if that's the minigame, then I have to figure a way in there. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, it's fine. Less fun and more ads, hi YouTube. Yeah, I mean, I've said it before, like if the YouTube stream ever gets to the point where it's basically the same number of people over there, then... I see less and less of a point in being here. I mean, it's definitely not a money thing for me. If it was, like, Twitch is still the more viable one in terms of making a living out of this. But that's not a factor for me, so, like, the number one factor for me is... Is my stream something that people like watching? And is the platform I'm on allowing me to have a stream that is good to, to watch? And right now, there's just a bunch of stuff that it's just far from ideal. Not to say that YouTube is perfect, YouTube has its own issues as well. But... In the whole, like, ads thing, yeah, that's... It's a beacon of light over there. I'm sure- well, the door's not an alternate path, so it's like, it's probably just a coin room, so... I'm not gonna stress about it. It does bother me, but I don't have to. I suppose it could be a nine as well. Shit. No, it's a nine. Because a three would have this a little bit inwards. This lines up with the edge. It should be a nine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. I don't have to repeat it. Ugh. That would have sucked. Not that the stage is long, anyway. I was originally gonna try and cut out, um... The footage of Wario from Wario Land Shake, Shake It, like, when he's back at the hub world, 
and he's kind of just shaking his ass to the camera. Like, I was going to get that and cut it out and make an animated gif out of it. But then, you know, I, I didn't want to violate the gasm policy. I feel like, hmm, that could be, like, dangerous territory. Presenting my audience with Warrior's glorious booty. Might be a TOS. I think the biggest irony there is like... You could have a stream that doesn't have any kind of sexualized content at all, like in terms of emojis. But then the streamer could just talk about like... Just sex and drugs and like sucking dick for six hours straight and it would be perfectly fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm exaggerating, but you know. I'm just saying, like, we've talked about sexualized stuff here. I guess because the emojis can be used elsewhere, which, fair enough, but... I don't know. That sort of stuff, like, I'm always, like, a little more... Uh, aware of it, just because... I mean, for those of you that aren't aware, in Australia, let me tell you, we've had a history of censorship in video games because of uh, sexualized content or mature content or gore. And for the longest amount of time, we didn't have an 18 plus rating for games. So like we were getting games banned or censored because children shouldn't experience them. It's like, no, these games aren't suitable for children. We need to block adults from playing them, so then children can't accidentally get their hands on this game. So. When it comes to that kind of stuff, like, I, I just, I hate it. Are you saying adults play video games? Yeah, I love that misconception. Just the- uh, oh, video games are for kids. The average gamer is- is in their 30s. Currently. Wow, that's kind of annoying. This stage looks extra good. Like, I'm kind of in awe how this looks visually. I mean, this is a Game Boy game. Looks pretty good. I kind of forget how much the Game Boy Color, like, just made these Game Boy games just pop a lot more. Like, it might not seem like such a big deal. It's like, oh, it has color now, but... Man, some of these games that were built with the compatibility properly, they really are nice looking. I haven't found the, uh... The bonus stage, so I can't end this yet. Where this could be. Is 
so I mean it's either up high or it's like somewhere at the start. Hmm. Let me aha. That's there it is. Okay, got it. That's an actual treasure. That's not one of these ones that are just questionable treasure. Ooh, <laughs> nearly went too far. Interesting to see what this next stage does. I think it branches off twice. Okay, five or six. It looks like it's six. But I just want to be certain. I don't want to have to redo stages. It's a six. I got enough coins. Yeah, so this one has a secret exit. It's kind of strange how it branches off. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that one involves dropping the anchor and the other one involves... Oh, no! Yes! Sorry, I can't help myself every time I see that. Transformation is one of the best ones in this game. Since this has a secret exit, I'm gonna, like, be hitting walls a lot. The camera's panning this way, so there's something over there. I also need to try throwing stuff at- yep. Yep. I should try and find the bonus stage at the very least, and it's less stuff to do. But I do have that secret door now. go back. Okay, 
Oh, I needed that. Oh, I think this was an exit, <laughs> not an entry. Oh no. I messed up! Alright. Please let this be the bonus stage. So then we can go through that other door. For sure, that would have broken down. Oh, okay. No. There we go. Looks like there's more to this, huh? Maybe that first door wasn't anything. Okay, there we go. Feather? I can't tell. Oh. Alright, let me go back to the start. That door. But see... Oh. I was gonna say, look, what, what about here? It's okay. Is, is this nothing? Why is there a step missing? That seems out of place. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I always do that. I get ahead of myself just a little and then I can't push it in the other direction. Bar is too thick to fit through that gap. Doesn't matter. I 
I guess we sunk the ship in this one, and the other one is um, actually... Because one of them was like the anchor, so we sunk it <laughs> instead, which I guess that works. Seven or one. We just need that top piece. Seven. Oh shit, it was a four. We have to come back to the level. I got it wrong. It's okay, we have to come back to the level anyway. To unlock the other path. That's the first one I got wrong, that's a shame. I didn't consider the four. Restart game. <laughs> In the child is screaming, cast a restart game. It's okay. Now we do standard path. It's bound to happen. That's the thing about that one. Kind of pressure, crap. You kind of pressure to end it early. It's not, it's not a waste, I guess, because I had to come back here anyway to unlock the other path. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, my inner child is screaming that I got that wrong. But it's not the end of the world. I'm just glad I can kind of just skip ahead through this. Oh, that just loops around, I remember. Oh, yes! <laughs> So this is... It's the real one. Okay, don't get it wrong! It's the same thing again. I wasn't about to guess seven again. Not when it could have, it could have, well, I guess it stopped being a nine, but you know. I, I just wanted to be certain. I'm not messing that up twice. I love that it gave me the seven though, after I like guessed seven. All right, so I'm just gonna do this stage because this stage just, that path ends there pretty much, so. I did see this here. Mm. 
Yes! Oh, that doesn't help. I need to bring one of them down. Oh, yes! Look at how much money I have, eh? The magical number, yes! Alright, it's gone now. Oops. There's no fake wall there. Oh, this is just loading you up on coins. I mean, I guess it is a pirate ship, so. Having treasure should be no surprise. Oh. I was gonna say I probably shouldn't have taken out the dock, but... I'm not sure that'll even work. Let's try. Oh no, this this one will. Ah! Take out the duck. Dude, please. Was it this one or this one? Okay. <laughs> I just wasn't sure. I, they both sort of have helmets. That's all. That's all I caught. I was looking at the left side of the screen, so. That's something that I, I will no doubt fail eventually. to jump on the head. Oh! I mean, I'm not losing coins, so that's fine. Oh no, too high, too high, too high, too high, too high, too high! Damn it! <laughs> I jumped. 
Oh, that's disappointing. Oh wait, this is just, this just goes back. I do appreciate that you don't die in this game. I think, like, that's an idea that was really ahead of its time. But consider how long it took a Mario game to go, nah, you know what? Lives don't matter. I mean, okay, you can still die in Mario games, but like, to the point where you don't have lives anymore. And just have a platform where you can just kind of freely explore. What? <laughs> Whatever. not to ruin this again. Could be a five, could be a nine. Still could be a nine, it's a nine. That one I had to wait till the very end. Okay, that's another row done. So the, there's still 15 stages left, there's still quite a bit. But I mean, let's see where this goes. So this'll eventually lead to an alt to a, to an ending. And then we'll have like there's still quite a bit to do. Okay. So this is the timeline where Warriors sunk the ship. <laughs> but you know what? I can get on board with that. And now we're... At, it appears going to be in a lost... Lost city? They escaped by submarine, okay. So, you know, in this timeline, Wario rescues a chicken with boobs and sinks a, uh, a pirate ship. Quite an adventurous day. I'm surprised someone hasn't made the joke about, like, you now that's taking chicken breasts to, like, a whole new level. I was expecting someone to, like, bring out that pun. This is not worth it. Not the pun, but <laughs> those coins. I'm probably going to take damage and lose more than what I have to gain, though.
Is this a... Uh, that... I'm not sure if that's an exit or... What is this? It's a bottle. <laughs> okay. You were too weirded out to think of the chicken breast thing. Yeah, me too. I was kind of worried this was going to be one of these things that I didn't. Like, I'm the only one that saw it. And you know, I'd be labeled as a deviant. It's like, what? That chicken doesn't have boobs. What do you mean? But no, thankfully, that's, yep, that's, that's what it was. I mean, I say thankfully in the sense of, like, preserving my sanity, not thankful that that actually happened. Just to be clear. Definitely wasn't on my list of uh, things that I would expect today. I wonder what the lore behind that chicken is. Like, is it Warrior's prize chicken? That's the part that's bothering me still, is like, he, he abandoned the pursuit of the people that stole... stole his treasure to get that chicken back. Wait, maybe we're both deviants. Oh. I mean, I don't know. Oh no, we can't go through here. Not yet. We've got to find the bonus stage. Stop thinking about boob chicken. <laughs> I mean, aren't you the least little bit curious as to where it falls into the story? Like it was a plot point. I, I want to know, like, why was it a plot point? Does Warrior canonically own a hen with boobs? I just want to go up. There we go. Oh, this, this room was used before. Recycling! Recycled content. So, it is a uh, warrior's pet hen. That's why he chased after the hen. So that's that's why it was a hen. And that's why he stopped. It was his pet hen ran away, and uh, he had to go chase after it. So that I, I guess is understandable. But, like, what isn't so much understandable is, well, I 
I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> that's that's the official artwork from the the manual. <laughs> so we're not deviants. That, that kind of proves it. If, if it's any consolation, we're not deviants. That's actually what we saw. So that, that settles that. I was expecting a door here. Kinda surprised there was nothing else. I still haven't come across the mini game. This doesn't allow you to go back. This thing just, like, fully carries you away. Like, I tried to get in there, but it just doesn't let me. There we go. Jeez. Oh, yep. Worthy reward. There's nothing there. Uh, I mean, I doubt the minigame would have been so early on. Turn around. So, this hen makes only one other appearance as Warrior's Pet, and it's in a Game & Watch gallery on Game Boy Advance. So, I mean, I guess it's a, pl a forgotten plot point. <laughs> kind of explains why it's, it, it's weird and you don't really see it. It's because this is... Aside from one other game, you, you don't see his prize pet. It should stay forgotten. <laughs> Not a fan of chickens with boobs. Is that it? I couldn't even say that sentence with a straight face. Where is this? Oh, 
Oh, you know what? It's probably here. Yep. It's here. Mystery solved. I don't know, I'm just gonna chalk it up to like the 90s were a strange time. I mean, in Sonic the Hedgehog, canonically, uh, one of the little critters is a chicken. And you wanna guess its name? It's Cucky. Clucky? Nope. I'm gonna find the artwork for it. Because Cooker, but it's spelt Cucky. I'll, I'll do you one better. There you go. Also known as Clucky or Cookie, but originally Cucky. So. <laughs> I think they, uh, they probably changed it. Or at least the English translation. Oh, this looks interesting. I can't get in there. What is this stage? So, I, okay, so they're just going to mess with me the whole time. Hang on, let's not go down that path. So, all of this is like a point of no return. I guess that, however, will let me do that. You wonder if Boob Chicken and Cucky are an item. See? Ah. <laughs> uh, well, that, yeah, why are you wondering this? Like. I, I, it's not a stretch of the imagination. I guess you could say no because Nintendo and Sega. Sega may do what Nintendo don't, but Nintendo don't has boobs on a chicken.
they are like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> yes, Cucky and Hen. Because that's the, that's the name of the hen, it's just Hen. I wonder if Hen is short for anything. Oh no. Nope, d don't worry about that comment. I know exactly what people are going to say. If your brain lives in the gutter, you will know what Hen is short for. It's short for Julia, okay. What is the stage? gonna suck. Okay, there we go. Jeez. There we go. Found it. Now I, I don't have to worry about what direction I'm going. I'm kind of lucky that I found it because it's down a specific path. Uh, was it this one? Yeah, uh, I'll try. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll be happy if I don't fail this once. Ugh, damn it. Mario, you're too thick. I think this is a- I think this is a maze. That's- that, I didn't want to say it because I wasn't sure, but yeah, it looks like it's a maze. Hopefully there's no time. You can just find it at your own pace. That's not a door. You know, if I had more uh, animals to get in starter, I should have. I would name them Cucky and uh, the long form of Hen. Hen's full name. Wait, but like. What? I'm so confused right now. This is just a treasure room.
Unless the, there's something that I'm missing. But like, I feel like I've gone both ways. I've gone left and right here. That's just the bonus stage. Okay. Why is this here? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. I, I mean, there's that gap there, but like, I feel like I've walked into it. It's a dead end. I'll try to go for it again. I'm only going left this time. And now I'm back here. Okay, so... Fall... Fall down. There we go. But see, there's, there's nothing here. What is the stage? I know, but look, there's something... There's coins over there. See me trying different things here. Really didn't want to have to come down this path again. I'm thoroughly confused here. This is just that. Way forward doesn't seem to be super intuitive. Unless I'm missing the obvious, the painfully obvious. Aha. Okay, there we go. Nope, that's just. that's nothing. You just bounce off the edge, so I can't continue the ball form. And it doesn't go past here. Unless middle counts for something, maybe middle does count for something. Okay, maybe I'm onto something here. Yeah, this is different. Okay, we found out a way out of it. Ah, see, this looks familiar now. Right, but like, okay. This is wrong. Now we're back here, okay.
going this way this time. I guess as long as I see new stuff, we're okay. Three stages have drained my money so much. I had a lot more than this. Oh, come on. Reveal the middle one, please. Wow, that's annoying. <laughs> it could have been a zero or an eight. It ne I needed that middle tile to confirm it. Yep. It just drained my money again. Maybe I cursed myself by talking about the chicken too much. Seems like all my problems started the moment that thing appeared on screen. <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. That's what you get when you stray away from the Lord and look at chicken boobs. In a game from 1990, uh, 1998? I think it's 98. <laughs> I guess we draw the line at, uh, bo boobs on chickens. That was... quick. <laughs> Team and chicken. The thing of nightmares. I mean, it's not the strangest thing that's canon in Wario, like... You know, there's this bladder being able to hold five liters of pee. I guess this is just something that's on point with that kind of, uh, writing. Size eight feet, bladder that can hold five liters of pee, and has a pet chicken that for some reason has boobs. I don't know. What? I should be able to squeeze in there. <laughs> no, come on. Is... Am I going crazy or can... Surely I can fit in here. Hang on. Is there anything else I can do? Because this skips the rest of the stage. Okay, I'm not gonna crawl all the way there. Let me have another look. But I have to go in through that way. Because this skips the rest of the stage. So, I have to make that... Wait, no. Don't complicate it. What's up here? Okay. Okay. Maybe I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Jeez, I'm glad I checked. I mean, I'm sure you can. But I just saved us like half an hour of me hitting my head against a brick wall. I need to get more coins before I consider getting uh, the doors. I 
Mario's head is IP. Oh no, it is, yeah. Most definitely. Canonically, it's, uh, it's very hard-headed. Okay, but I want to have at least a hundred coins before I go through any of these doors. Okay, there we go. It's balanced by its contents. What's the contents of his head? Not much. Not true. He said he has a very big, smooth brain. And the reason it's smooth is because it's, uh, in pristine condition. It's not old and wrinkled. Wow. <laughs> Come on. It's just, it's the fear of, uh... Getting knocked in. Reasoning? Yeah, true. Smooth brains have less surface area. I mean, I was gonna go with the size matter, but it, it kinda does with when it comes to a brain. But then again, you could have a big brain and not really do anything with it. My inner child is screaming right now. Like, he's like, dude, come on. When you were nine years old, you could have done this first try. Oh, yes! Get knocked into the water, eh? Got to pro provide the player with a challenge. Got to put that smooth brain to use, yes! Come on. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I just need to not be afraid of it and just run into it like that. D oh, come on. It's this last one. Uh, the last one I have to try and avoid somehow. For some reason it knocks me in. Whereas in the other ones I can kind of get away with. Or maybe I'm just messing up the jump every time, I don't know. <laughs> but like, if I do that... <sighs> okay. What is this demon fish doing? Big brains just means there's more useless synapse connections and it takes things longer to process. I just love the contrast of this is like we're talking about big brains and intelligence and here I am doing something that like me as a nine year old could have done first try, most likely. Was that so hard? Don't you dare. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. This music as well. 
It's just... <sighs> I may as well be playing Benny Hill right now. Keep struggling with the children's game, yes. Yes! <laughs> I bet you there's not even going to be anything there worthwhile, like it's just going to be coins. <laughs> but I'm concerned that there might be like the door to the bonus stage there, that's why I'm so adamant. But it's going to be like 15 coins at most and that's not worth my sanity. Come on, everyone, you know the words. <laughs> okay. I hate this game. I was trying to do a dash jump and then I like, flinched. I faked myself out. <laughs> I hope you're getting a good laugh at this at least. Oh my god. I can't do this anymore. I feel my soul departing my body. Oh my god. <laughs> So this is what it feels like to be that journalist that couldn't do the tutorial stage in Cuphead. Oh, that last one. Why does it have to be so instantaneous? And you can't... You can't fake it out, like... This one falls. This one doesn't fall. I can fake it. I can jump. Okay. I was overcomplicating it, because of course I was. I've had a really long day. I, I really have. 
but you know, at the very least, it is my hope that this is giving you some form of entertainment and making you laugh at least, because you know what? Laughing is good. I mean, I, I certainly am. I'm laughing. I'm tilted, but I'm also laughing. I'm just afraid it's gonna pop up again. Okay. Yes, oh yes, totally worth the time, eh? Spend ten minutes on one tiny portion of the stage, oh yes. Feel pretty good, eh? I could just exit the stage, I really could. Instead of subject myself to this. Right, so I need to roll the other way. Give me the cake, oh yes! Yeah, that was... that whole thing right there. I, I think that's definitely gonna be contender for like... worst streaming moments of 2023. It's only February, and yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely up there. I mean, last year it was Mario 64 under that damn snowman. <laughs> so. I think I spent more time on that one, though. Through it. Hey, look, 420. Uh, the meme number, eh? So, what else am I missing here? this way, somehow. There's a whole upper area here. No, there's no way that's a roll in. That has to be like an out. I think there's something I've missed back here. You know, I knew at the moment I saw that exit 
right away. I knew it was it was going to be suffering. It's just never ever that straightforward. Oh, I have to jump there too. Okay. Ah, nearly. There it is. Uh oh. I mean, that's fine. Please let this be the bonus stage. Okay, cool. We can leave. <laughs> Just get this done and leave the stage. <laughs> we can leave. Freedom. Please don't let this drain my money more. Can be a few numbers. Could be five, could be nine. It's nine. All of these are draining my funds. Nearly there. Um, this is interesting because it looks like it splits off. So I think I have to find the hidden exit here. Wait, what's that block? Ah, switch. That's probably what it is. Oh, yes, good aim. <laughs> okay. But I need I need another one to bounce on, so I've got to reset it. Well done. I need to let it get up. Right, I didn't hit the switch. Did I? So it's kind of late at night now, so if I am doing that, that's why. We'll see. Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. We're, we're okay. Uh, 
That's interesting, the camera doesn't pan up. Oh good, I can cancel it. Nice. Okay. Very good. I wonder if there's more to this. I think I can bully it. Yeah. The thing is, if I throw it too hard, it's gonna just slam into the wall and die. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was right. I do need it, but there's another one here, thankfully. Stop it! I doubt there's anything in here. They wouldn't have that same thing twice. Oh, that's not good. Stop. <laughs> I'm beginning to get afraid that I've skipped the treasure room game. I just want to see what's here. Okay, so that's the boss room. Alright. So I've definitely gone too far. I'll still hit the switch, but we'll see. I have noticed the arrows on the ground. Oh. Well, there's my there's my exit. Uh, 
Uh... The thing is, I think the standard path leads to the path that I've already cleared, so I think I need to backtrack. But okay, I know where this is at the very least. If I was to take a guess... The, uh... The minigame was like in that previous room. Should be straightforward enough to get back. Stop losing coins. <laughs> Suppose the only slightly annoying thing is I'm gonna have to repeat all this again. Um This is it. Okay, cool. go through the other door. <laughs> Stop! Stop with the coin loss. I think I would have 200 coins right now if I didn't take all the damage I've taken. Taking this for soft defense. Didn't need it. It's gonna be sad if this path down here is incorrect and it doesn't take you the way that I want to go. We'll see. to bring this here. Oh. Yeah, I mean, or I can just do that. <laughs> nice try.
I'm worried that my coins are like now below 3,000. That's a three. Okay, good. We got a good one. <sighs> All the other ones I've had to wait pretty much for the very last tile. Okay. Yep, that was correct. So... Let's just do this. We got a capture or captured syrup, not capture. All right, because in, in this timeline, timeline we sank syrup's boat. And rescued Wario's pet chicken. That's a nice find. Hmm, okay. No, stop! What are they even vomiting? Oh, this is like a massive labyrinth. You can't go through the door, it's tiny. Okay. Oh, that's the boss already. No, we don't want to do that. What is down here? Oh. Wow, this stage is already done. That was really quick. Ooh, it's either this one or this one. Okay, man, the duck and the duck and that one are so similar because I had the bandana. I hope I didn't make too big of a mess here. Okay. What is this thing? Oh. Okay. Let's just watch it for a bit, because clearly it's going to capture me and take me away. That's the warning there. I think I have to jump on its head. Yep. Oh, this is spicy. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is gonna be fun. Not too bad, I don't think. This is like, similar to a Yoshi's Island boss where it starts off as this adorable thing and then it just transforms. Oh, I got it. That was easy.
We still got the mini game to do. <laughs> Phase two. <laughs> that would have been funny. Speaking of two, I think this is a two. All right. That's another path done. Now we get to see the ending. Oh, yes! Get out of here! <laughs> I love just the anime style. Just getting kicked away. It's like very Team Rocket-like. Well done! Here's a, here's a depressing thought. That last boss... ...took way less time than that room with the fish. The room with the fish was like the real last boss. I struggled more in that room with those fish than that last boss. Also, that's kind of impressive that he can do that. Yeah, this is great. I mean, look at how many different endings it had. Quite a lot for a Game Boy game. Like, Game Boy games kind of started as being arcade type things and small experiences, but... Once I got the hang of them, they were pretty full-fledged. Like, this, Link's Awakening... There's quite a few titles that were, uh... Pretty... detailed. I mean, I never played Metroid 2 on Game Boy, but I do have it. Behind me somewhere. I'm just waiting for the part where he loses his treasure again. I'm sure this looks better on the little screen as well. Like, I, I, I imagine this being blown up to the size is like, uh... It does lose a little bit of the charm. Like, I, I can see the little stream activity window, where it's a smaller window of video, and... Yeah, it does look nice. I just wish I could play it in handheld mode and still be able to capture the video. But I can't. I have to have it docked, so... It's alright. At least the visuals look much better than what I had going with the GameCube. Like, it's pristine quality. You know, I don't know if all 
the Nintendo games did this, but I feel like they always thanked you, the player, for playing, and this one doesn't. I don't know if that's the case, but I kind of noticed it. Okay. Well, yeah, that was uh, another pathway done. So there's 10 stages remaining. And then I have 100% this. I guess the nice thing about 100%ing this is you're not really repeating content. Not too much. Like maybe three or four stages. But the majority of this is like, yeah, you're doing branching paths and different endings, which is cool. So it gives me more incentive to try and finish it all. So we got 10 stages left. And we'll finish that map. It's pretty much whatever the pipe and the bike branches off to. <laughs> Thanking the player, nah, warrior devs be like, we put the boob chicken in, you're welcome. Well, the boob chicken is part of a... Was it part of a standard path or a secret path? I think it was a secret path. So, you have to discover the secret to be able to see Boob Chicken. Okay, uh, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. No way, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm not streaming. Wednesday. Day after tomorrow. We'll finish it, because I, I gotta do stuff tomorrow, as usual. Uh, but I'm not done for the evening. Uh, I'm just gonna take a small intermission to make myself a cup of tea. And then we'll finish up the stream tonight with some more Stardew Valley, as I've been playing that at the end of the evening, most days, so... Give me like a couple minutes just to go make myself a cup of tea, and uh, we'll continue. But if you're here for Warrior Land 2, thanks for watching, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video. And if you're on YouTube and you want to see more of this kind of thing, I mean, retro games or whatever, you can leave a comment you have anything in particular that you'd want to see, or just, you know, like, and then I know that's the kind of stuff people are into. So, also helps with the algorithm stuff, which is always great. At least for me.